sense that there's more to life than what you can see? Lightshine Spiritual Academy presents the Intuitive Intensive, a groundbreaking eight-week program designed to blast open your intuitive abilities and catapult you into a dynamic, connected, and psychic life. Join spiritual teachers Crystal Ann Compton and Trisha Carr in this immersive program of education, high vibration, and group coaching. Class begins the week of January 23rd, 2022. Hello, everybody. It's Crystal. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. In this video, we're going to be talking about the pervasive power of unconscious agreements. Recently, I uploaded a video to this channel, and if you haven't watched it, you really ought to, on the power of holy agreements and how when you and I make an agreement on this earth with a shared vision, our Father in heaven, that is source energy, is compelled to create it on our behalf, period. And that's power. And that means we can manifest and create our reality. So that's why we need to know about holy agreements. But what about unholy agreements? What about toxic agreements that we make all the time and we are not even conscious to them? And because we're not conscious to them, we are creating more of the same problems in our own lives, but also on this planet. In today's lesson, I'm actually pulling from a recent live stream that I did in my spiritual community called the Light Shine Lab. But this is a powerful teaching, and I really wanted to share it here on YouTube as well. Now, speaking of YouTube, please help me in the algorithm. Please, please, please. It's getting critical out here. I am being disappeared on YouTube. I barely get new subscribers. I barely get views. And it's because for whatever reason, YouTube is suppressing me even more than it used to. And I'm wondering if I should even be on YouTube anymore. But at the same time, I know that there are some of you that still watch me here and I want to stay connected. But if you could please help me by liking and commenting on this video and subscribing, I would be so grateful because that just helps me to be discoverable in the algorithm. And I also consider what it is that I do to be collaborative, meaning you and I are creating this together. So if you could help in this way, you will help get this teaching out. You will help get this energy out. And I really, really would appreciate it. Okay, without further ado, let's get into today's video. We talked tonight about our unconscious agreements and how many of us, we make them all day, every day. We're making unconscious agreements. You're signing on to Twitter. You're reading some toxic nonsense. And it's landing somewhere inside of you. Do you think it's just dissipating and going nowhere? No, energy is always moving and you're receiving it. And maybe you can consciously disagree and release it. But many times we do not. We take it into ourselves. And it's a kind of black magic. We're vulnerable. We're terribly vulnerable to this kind of energy. And we are not being accountable for this. What's more, those of us who also heart that or like that or comment and snark on that and troll and and declare our brothers and sisters as less than or as wrong or wrong-headed, not worthy of this or that. Like how many of us participate in the energy of that, much less we're actually speaking from a place of that? Oh, don't you know? Agreements, agreements, agreements. And if you're agreeing with somebody toxic on the internet, guess what? Our father in heaven, source energy is compelled to move. And now we're creating more of it. Believe me when I tell you this is why it feels like we're going to hell in a handbasket because the acceleration taking place via things like social media, because social media is happening in 3D, right? I'm on my phone. I go into, I don't know, Twitter. I don't have, tw I do have a Twitter. I don't ever go on Twitter. Oh my God, what a toxic platform. I go into Twitter and that's happening here on this earth plane, right? 3D. But I'm also thinking, aren't I? I'm envisioning what they're talking about, the person in, in question, the concept even. And then I'm engaging with it. I'm liking it. I'm commenting on it. I'm agreeing with it to some extent. And that's happening in the imaginal plane. Where do you think that is? Part of that's in the third dimension, but a lot of that's in the fourth dimension. And the fourth dimension is different than the third dimension because that which you think 
becomes evident immediately. And that is also the domain of the thought form and the archetype and the ghost and the wandering spirit and soul. There's a whole lot of chaos happening in 4D, but you know what? We're grounding it back to 3D because we're, we're also on the 3D phone. We're also on our computers. And so it's happening in the imaginal plane and we're creating, creating, and we're drawing it back down into this experience through our presence in 3D. We, we got to understand how important it is to be intentional and act with integrity on social media and on these different platforms, because we are getting ourselves, humanity is getting, our, we're getting ourselves into quite the pickle. And one of the things that we agreed upon tonight was that we would act as envoys for love on all of these platforms. And of course, in our lives, and that we would agree to be intentional and ever mindful and remembering that this is what we are and why we're here so that we together can shift the tone of this and shift what's being created in fourth dimension and then out pictured in 3d that's you that's me we can shift that and we ought to but we need to really understand that we're entering into agreements all the time and again some of these agreements we're getting pizza tonight sounds good all right that's an agreement but if we're thinking it and we're also feeling it, we're creating it.